The th I want you to close your eyes and picture Africa. Is this what you had in mind? You'd be right. That is Africa. But let me show you another picture. This is Nairobi, Kenya, full of expensive cars, luxury hotels, and has a huge tourism industry. This is Lagos, Nigeria, with an economy ranked 27th largest in the world. Cairo, Egypt's busy downtown is ranked 20th on places to see worldwide. I'm here today to break the misconceptions surrounding Africa and to prove to you why it is indeed an economic powerhouse. First, Africa is a diverse continent. It consists of 54 unique countries, each with its own strengths and resources. Take, for instance, Ethiopia, which has one of the world's fastest growing economies, or Ghana, known for its political stability and investment-friendly environment. Nigeria's film industry is second in the world. Johannesburg, South Africa is considered a world financial center. Algeria owns 174 metric tons of gold. All these countries are attracting foreign investments and it's contributing to Africa's economic growth rapidly. Second, the continent's youth offer immense potential for innovation and entrepreneurship. During my visit to Tanzania, I felt the passion and the energy in the young students with ambitious goals. Third, infrastructure development is on the rise. New ports, roads, and telecommunications networks are enhancing economic efficiency by connecting previously isolated regions. I even had the chance to interview Africa's youngest billionaire, Mr. Mo Duji. He owns many, many companies, one of which employs 37,000 people and has branches all throughout Africa. During our interview, he shared his passion for Africa, and he agrees that it'll soon be a superpower. He said, Africa and things in Africa are going to change, and they're going to change for the better. If somebody wants to invest in Africa, now is the time. Africa also has an abundance of natural resources. It is home to a vast number of mineral reserves, including gold, diamond, platinum, and cobalt. Tanzania is using its natural gas and its gold in order to fuel its economic expansion. And many other countries are doing the same exact thing by tapping into these natural resources and enhancing their economy. Well, I'm talking about all the great things in Africa's economy. I understand that poverty does still exist. I've made my own contributions in making small changes in Africa. Mr. Mohamed Duji. When I was in fourth grade, I started my own nonprofit organization in order to raise funds for a school in Zambia. Although I provided a small amount of school supplies for these students, I was astonished to see how much of a big impact it had for these students. It made me want to do more and invest more in Africa's youth. Later on in eighth grade, I helped to build a school in Tanzania. As a part of this construction, we decided to add a playground. Carrying the heavy bricks in the heat didn't feel so bad once I got to see the smiles and the pure joy of these children who had never seen a playground before. This project was organized by a nonprofit organization called CR Hope Foundation, which is one of many nonprofit organizations providing hope for the future generations of Africa. It's time we break the misconceptions surrounding the African continent. I hope I've proved to you why that picture you had in your mind at the beginning is not fair to be applied to the rest of Africa. Africa is emerging as an economic powerhouse with tremendous potential. And if you still aren't convinced, feel free to check out my book, which further explores the rapid economic growth in Africa. Thank you.